A new report from the Texas Tribune says almost 900,000 Texans have lost Medicaid since April, and a backlog of applications has piled up, overwhelming the system. Here to help us break down why this happened and the potential problems this could lead to, the Chief Executive Officer of Health Point, Terry Sabella. Terry, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Okay, so first up, let's talk about Medicaid in general. This coverage, it's continually evolving. Uh, it has recently changed when the state of emergency ended with the COVID pandemic, uh, when that was lifted. Uh, what do you, as a healthcare provider, want to tell people about being covered when it comes to healthcare? So, first of all, having health insurance coverage is more than uh, more about more than just the visit to your doctor. Having access to coverage allows you to um, access hospitals, lab and diagnostics. Um, so it's really important for folks to have coverage. It's not only about commercial insurance. Um, here in the Brazos Valley, we have Health Point, which is a federally qualified health center. And Health Point will see you regardless of ability to pay, which means that we'll have you visit with eligibility workers. And if you don't have insurance, we might help you find a grant or other coverage. Um, if we don't have a grant or other coverage, we can put, put you on our sliding fee scale so you have access to primary care. Medicaid is one of the resources that we connect people with at Health Point. So according to this uh, Texas Tribune article, a majority of the people who lost uh, those Medicaid benefits was because of procedural errors. It includes everything from sending in applications in the mail a day late to not including the correct documentation. This might be a silly question, but is it possible that somebody who lost that Medicaid coverage doesn't know that they are no longer covered through Medicaid? It is possible, and it's something that we've seen evidence of um, with our Medicaid eligibility workers. We have a team of folks that helps folks through the process. Uh, we are state certified to help with this process, and so we can expedite that handling and make sure it's handled correctly. But for a lot of folks, um, they're waiting re to receive the correspondence in the mail, and they may not know that they haven't up updated their address and contact information with Medicaid. So if you believe that you're covered by Medicaid, you might check with their portal or come visit with us and make sure your contact information is correct so you do receive that correspondence. And so that is what people can do now is to just double check. Uh, and there's a couple different ways that they can do that. Yes, so there are ways online um, or directly with the Medicaid agency through the state, but you can also contact Health Point and we have some folks that are uh, willing to assist you with that process. And if you do need to refile, re-enroll, you can do that with us. Uh, how often is Health Point dealing with um, patients uh, that receive Medicaid? Daily. Yeah. Every day. Over a third of our patients uh, have Medicaid. And during the public health emergency, it was an even larger percentage of patients because um, women who accessed Medicaid during their pregnancy were not dropped from the enrollment after a couple of months, as what happens now again today. Um, and so we saw those women with uh, continuous coverage now up until the end of the public health emergency. And we know that, uh, you know, women, children, uh, these are the, the two likely areas of people that that have been dropped uh, under this under this clause. So it is important that they figure out what their coverage situation is. Yes, absolutely. Reach out to us, let us help you through it. Um, it's mostly either women who were covered through their pregnancy or children, as you said. In some cases, um, individuals may have been covered as kids um, before the public health emergency ended, but now they've come into adulthood uh, and they may not realize that their coverage is dropping and the correspondence may be going to their parents. They should also reach out to us, find out if they're still eligible and if not, how we can get them into a program so they can access health care. Excellent. Terry Sabella, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.